So we are here to celebrate the marriage of two special friends. And more than a ceremony, this is a significant moment of celebration and personal commitment. The essence of this commitment is the taking of another person in their entirety as a companion and a friend. Thank you all for sharing this special night with this loving couple. I know they appreciate it very much. Now from this day forward, you will come closer than ever before. You'll promise to love one another in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy. But at the same time, your love for each other will give you the strength to stand apart and seek your own unique destinies. Now God created us for togetherness, and you're about to launch upon an experience that's filled with pleasure, excitement, risk, and even sometimes danger. That means you don't make mad. <laughs> you figured that one out? <laughs> And from this day forward, you must decide what it means to you to be husband and wife. For the words you say today come easy, but nothing will be harder than trying to live them day after day. So what you promise today must be renewed in your hearts tomorrow. And at the conclusion of this ceremony, you will be husband and wife. But both of you must work together year after year, mm -hmm. to keep this relationship alive and strong. <laughs> now hold tight with the hand that will share your fortune and your caring. Look at the face that holds your heart <laughs> and your future <laughs> as you respond to what is now asked. Benny, Laura entered your life, and with her, you experienced love and happiness. Will you now accept Laura to be your wife, to work together in creating an abiding marriage? And Benny, will you love, Absolutely. honor, respect, and cherish her in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy for all time and eternity? Yes, I do. <laughs> Should we have to kick him? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Benny entered your life, and with him, you experience love and happiness. Will you now accept Benny to be your husband, to work together in creating an abiding marriage? And Laura, will you love, honor, respect, and cherish him in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy for all time and eternity? Yes, I do. A lifetime of loving, caring, and sharing begins now. And it goes on forever. Yeah. Judy makes us do things well, but love, amour, makes us do them beautifully. The bride and groom will now exchange rings, the symbols of their love and faithfulness. May I have the rings, please? Thank you. Good job. <laughs> now may the wedding rings be changed with symbols of your love and your admiration for each other. And just as these rings have no ending, as so only your love and your happiness be endless. So Benny, as you place this ring on your bride's finger, I want you to look at her and repeat after me. Repeat. <laughs> repeat. As a sign of my love. Look at her. It's a sign of my love. Repeat. Oh. Now I will share my life's journey with you. My life's journey with you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Laura, would you place this ring on your groom's finger? Yeah, I usually have to point <laughs> Please look at him and repeat yeah. after me as a sign of my love. 
Has a sign you'll find out. And because now I will share. And because now I will share. My life journey with you. My life journey with you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Para de mami. This is for you. And use, and use. This is for you. The rose ceremony. <clears throat> your gift to each other on your wedding day today has been your wedding rings, which shall always be an outward demonstration of your vows of love and respect and a public showing of your commitment to each other. You now have what remains one of the most honorable titles which may exist between a man and a woman the title of husband and wife. So for your first gift as husband and wife, that gift will be a single rose. Now in the past, the rose was considered a symbol of love, and a single rose always meant just one thing. It means the words, I love you. So it's appropriate for your first gift as husband and wife that that gift be a single rose. Please exchange your first gift as husband and wife. <laughs> now, in some ways, it seems like you've done nothing at all. Just a moment ago, you were holding one small rose. Now you're holding one small rose. And in some ways, a marriage ceremony is like this. In some ways, tomorrow will seem no different than yesterday. But in fact, just now, you have both given and received one of the most valuable gifts that Valuable gifts of life, one I hope you remember, the gift of true and abiding love within the devotion of marriage. Now, Benny and Laura, I would ask that wherever you make your home in the future, whether it be a large and an elegant one or a small and graceful one, that you both pick a very special location for roses. So on each anniversary of this truly wonderful occasion, you both may take a rose to that spot both as a recommitment to your marriage and a recommitment that this will be a marriage based upon love. Now in every marriage, there will be times when it's difficult to find the right words. It's easiest to hurt who we most love. And it might be difficult sometimes to find the right words to say, I am sorry, I forgive you, I need you, or I'm hurting. So if this should happen, if you simply cannot find these words, leave a rose in the spot which you both have selected. For that rose then says what matters most of all and should overpower all other things and all other words. That rose says the words, I still love you, and the other should accept this rose for the words which cannot be found. And remember the love and the hope that you both share here today. So, Benny and Laura, if there's anything you remember about this marriage ceremony, it is that it was love that brought you here today. It is only love that can make it a glorious union, and it is by love which your marriage shall endure. <clears throat> the wedding prayer. <laughs> Dear Lord, our hearts are filled with great happiness on this Benny and Laura's wedding day. They come before you, pledging their lives and their hearts to one another. Grant that they may be ever true and loving, living together in such a way as to never bring heartache into their marriage, temper their hearts with kindness, help them to be sweethearts, helpmates, friend, and guide, and together may they meet the cares and the problems of life more bravely. Let them remember the value of each other as individuals and never take each other for granted. May they find contentment in the greater joys of rich companionship. May their home truly be a place of love and harmony where your spirit is ever present. Bless their wedding day, we pray. Walk beside them through all of their life together and may their love continue through life and finally blend into life eternal. Amen. 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 And now, <clears throat> may you love deeply, laugh heartedly, <laughs> practice <laughs> patiently, <laughs> and smile often. <laughs> may you dream together, grow, be local. <laughs> <laughs> they are locals. <laughs> Give, 
give in and trust <clears throat> enough to take. May you see many sunrises, listen to the rain, savor those special moments, and rediscover each other over and over again. And may you have health, happiness, and a lifetime of rich adventures. So inasmuch as you pledge yourselves to each other in the presence of all of these honored guests, I now <laughs> pronounce you husband and wife. Benny, you may kiss your wife. How about a big hand? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ¿cómo, Iván? ¿Cómo? ¿Y por qué el anillo de la boda? 